The ancient Stoics valued discretion and the wisdom of silence, recognizing that not everything we think or experience needs to be shared with the world. In the words of the Stoic philosopher Epictetus, there is only one way to happiness, and that is to cease worrying about things that are beyond the power of our will. Today, we will talk about 15 lessons that Stoicism teaches us to keep to ourselves. With the wisdom of Epictetus in mind, let's delve into these principles in the pursuit of wisdom and inner strength. The only thing I ask of you is not to skip this video in any way. If you're here, consider yourself different from the majority. Consider yourself an exception. Now, act like one and don't skip any part of the content. Lesson 1. Refrain from criticizing yourself. In Stoicism, a philosophy centered on inner strength and resilience, a crucial rule is to avoid speaking negatively about yourself. This rule goes so far that even your private thoughts shouldn't indulge in self-deprecation, as advised by Marcus Aurelius, a prominent Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor. The reason behind this guideline is to safeguard your self-confidence and overall mental well-being. When you constantly think poorly of yourself, like saying, I'm terrible at this or I'll never improve, you're essentially undermining your own self-esteem. These negative thoughts can seriously hamper your motivation and hinder personal growth. To follow this stoic wisdom, it's vital to be aware of your inner thoughts Instead of putting yourself down, make a conscious effort to remind yourself of your potential and capabilities. Transform your internal dialogue into positive affirmations, telling yourself, I am capable of achieving this, and even if it takes time, I will get there eventually. By adopting this positive and growth-focused mindset, you not only strengthen your self-confidence, but also boost your resilience, aligning well with the fundamental principles of Stoicism. Lesson 2. Hold on to your private victories. Epictetus, a wise Stoic philosopher, gives us valuable advice on self-improvement. He suggests that when we're working on becoming better, we should do it quietly and with humility. Instead of loudly telling the world about our efforts, Epictetus recommends letting our actions show our progress. According to him, self-improvement is a personal journey for our own benefit, not something to brag about to get applause from others. Boasting about our achievements can make our intentions seem less genuine and might even reduce our motivation. Epictetus believes in the saying, actions speak louder than words. He thinks real growth is seen in how we behave, our character and our mindset. So, rather than talking a big game, he encourages us to quietly work on ourselves in the background. In Epictetus's view, self-improvement is most effective when it's a silent and steady effort. Instead of announcing our goals, he advises us to focus on personal development and let our results naturally shine through. People, according to Epictetus, are more influenced by the real changes they see in us than by the words we say. To him, the journey to self-improvement is about being humble and modest, with our actions and results doing the talking. This genuine and impactful approach becomes a source of inspiration and influence for those around us. Lesson 3. Don't eat too much. Balance is important. Musonius, a wise Stoic philosopher, gives us important advice on moderation in life especially in what we eat and drink. He says that if we indulge too much, it can cause problems like physical and mental burdens and burnout. Stoic philosophy teaches us that being disciplined and having self-control is crucial for success, not just in our work, but in everything we do. Musonius emphasizes that moderation isn't just a suggestion, it's something we should make a part of our lives. Think of it like a pendulum swinging between two extremes. On one side, there's overindulgence, eating or drinking too much. This might feel good at the moment, but it can cause issues for our bodies and minds. 
Overeating can lead to discomfort and health problems, and excessive drinking can mess with our judgment. On the other side, there's extreme restraint or not allowing ourselves to enjoy things. This can be just as bad, leading to feelings of frustration and making us more likely to overindulge later. Musonius advises finding a middle path, moderation. Instead of eating until we're uncomfortable, we should stop when we're satisfied. Instead of drinking too much, we should enjoy drinks in a way that makes our experiences better. Musonius teaches us that moderation is not just about food and drinks. It's a universal principle we should apply to everything in our lives. By practicing moderation, we learn discipline and self-control, which are essential for success and a balanced life. So, in the big picture of life, remember that moderation is like the conductor in an orchestra, making sure our actions create a harmonious and fulfilling journey. Lesson 4. Don't be a big mouth. Listen more than you speak. Zeno, an ancient philosopher and the father of Stoicism, once shared a timeless piece of advice that still rings true in our busy and talkative world. He wisely said, You have two ears and one mouth for a reason, so listen more than you speak. This simple but powerful advice encourages us to think about how we talk and connect with others. In our world today, where everyone is trying to be heard in social media, meetings and daily conversations, Zeno's advice is more important than ever. Amidst all the noise, we often forget the value of actively and attentively listening. Listening is like an art. It's more than just the absence of noise. It means giving someone your full attention, understanding their words, emotions, and even what they don't say. When you listen well, you give a special gift, respect. It shows that you care about what the other person thinks, feels and experiences. Living in a world full of noise, being a good listener makes you stand out. It means you understand and care, creating meaningful connections that strengthen relationships, whether in your personal or professional life. Think of being a good listener as a key to learning and growth. When you engage with what others share, you gain new perspectives, insights and knowledge. Listening becomes a way to develop personally and make better decisions. Remember Zeno's advice, you have two ears and one mouth for a reason, so listen more than you speak. In a world where everyone wants to be heard, being a good listener is like having a superpower. It involves being mindful, respectful and wise. Embrace the strength of listening to build deep connections with others and grow both personally and professionally. Lesson 5. Don't be too focused on the future. In Stoicism, there's a valuable lesson about not obsessing over the future. Thinkers like Epictetus teach us that some things in life are beyond our control. Worrying about events we can't influence, whether they happened in the past, are happening now, or might happen later, only adds stress and unhappiness. Epictetus, a famous Stoic philosopher, highlighted that real happiness comes from letting go of our concerns about things we can't change. He famously said, there is only one way to happiness, and that is to cease worrying about things which are beyond the power of our will. Accept what you can't control. It's important to understand that you can't control everything in your life. Some things are just not in your hands and worrying won't make a difference. External circumstances, how others behave and future uncertainties fall into this category. Live in the present. Instead of dwelling on the past or stressing about the future, Stoicism suggests focusing on the present. Your ability to act and make choices is limited to the current moment. By doing your best now, you can positively shape what's to come. Control your reactions. Stoics stress the importance of managing your reactions and attitudes. You may not control external events, but you always control how you respond to them. 
This self-mastery helps you find peace and contentment even when life throws uncertainties your way. Cut down on unnecessary stress. Constantly worrying about what might happen in the future only creates stress and anxiety. Stoicism encourages accepting life's unpredictability instead of fighting against it. By doing this, you can lighten your mental load and live with more tranquility. Stoic philosophy encourages us to let go of excessive concerns about the future and focus on what we can handle. This approach can lead to greater happiness, resilience, and a more peaceful state of mind, echoing the wisdom of Epictetus. Lesson 6. Remember to express appreciation. The way we convey gratitude or, on the flip side, fail to appreciate, holds significant weight in our interactions with others. It's crucial to consistently communicate our recognition for the efforts of those around us because life in itself is an extraordinary gift that deserves our gratitude each day. Echoing the wisdom of the venerable philosopher Epictetus, being smart means finding joy in what we have, not getting upset about what's missing. This timeless wisdom tells us to always notice and be grateful for the good things in our lives. To put it simply, being ungrateful is like not noticing or saying thanks for the good stuff that happens to us. It can show up in different ways, like not appreciating when people are kind or just taking everyday comforts for granted. Practicing gratitude means seeing and thanking the good parts of our lives and the people who make them better. When we act like we don't care or appreciate things, it can make a gap between us and the people around us. This can lead to problems, hurt feelings, and make things awkward socially. On the other hand, showing gratitude makes relationships better and makes a place where everyone feels noticed and important. So when you talk to others, always remember how important it is to be thankful Get into the habit of saying thanks for the nice things people do, the chances you get, and the good things that come your way. By doing this, you not only make relationships better, but also make your own life richer by seeing all the good and beautiful things around you. Lesson 7. Avoid complaining for a happier life. Complaining is a habit many of us pick up without realizing it. We often use it to let out frustration or seek sympathy. But in reality, complaining rarely makes things better. Instead, it brings negativity into our lives and the lives of those around us. As the wise philosopher Marcus Aurelius said, very little is needed to make a happy life. It's all within yourself, in your way of thinking. In simpler terms, our happiness mostly depends on how we see and respond to the world. Why complaining isn't helpful? Complaining usually becomes a repetitive, unproductive cycle. When we complain, it seldom leads to a solution or positive change. Instead, it can make us feel like victims, helpless and stressed. Constant complaining can also strain our relationships, draining those around us emotionally. Over time, people might become less willing to offer support or companionship because negative energy tends to spread. The power of positivity. On the other hand, choosing not to complain and focusing on the positives can bring positive changes to our lives. Here's how. Improved mental health. When you stop complaining, your mind is free from dwelling on problems. Instead, you can focus on solutions, reducing stress, and improving your overall mental well-being. Enhanced Relationships People are naturally drawn to those who are positive. By avoiding complaints, you can strengthen your social connections and build more meaningful relationships. Increased Productivity Complaining often serves as a distraction from taking action, Shifting your mindset to finding solutions makes you more productive and efficient in what you do. Gratitude. Not complaining encourages you to be more grateful for what you have. Recognizing and appreciating the positives, no matter how small, 
can bring a sense of contentment and happiness. Lesson 8. Guard your personal struggles. Let's dive into a simple yet profound lesson from Stoicism. Keep your personal struggles to yourself. Stoics, these wise ancient thinkers, tell us that we don't have to spill every difficulty we face to the world. Instead, they suggest dealing with our personal challenges by being strong and choosing carefully who we trust with our struggles. Think about it like this. Seneca, one of these wise Stoics, said, He who is brave is free. Imagine someone going through tough times. Instead of telling everyone about it, they decide to talk to a close friend. This isn't just about keeping things private. It's about facing challenges with courage and keeping control over how we deal with them. So remember, being strong in silence can be a great companion on your journey. By choosing wisely when and with whom you share your struggles, you build strength and freedom as you face life's ups and downs. It's like having a secret weapon for personal growth and handling whatever comes your way. Lesson 9. Keep your charitable acts discreet. Stoicism imparts another valuable lesson. Keep your charitable acts discreet. While acts of kindness hold great power, Stoics advise keeping them private to maintain their genuine nature. Imagine this. A Stoic philosopher once said, let not your left hand know what your right hand does. This means that when you do something good for others, it's often best to keep it between you and the person you've helped. Like a hidden gem, your charitable actions shine brighter when they remain genuine and free from the desire for recognition. Picture helping a friend in need without seeking applause or sharing the details with everyone. By keeping your acts of kindness private, you not only preserve their sincerity, but also cultivate a sense of humility within yourself. It's a simple yet powerful way to let your compassion speak louder than any words. Lesson 10. Hold your philosophical beliefs close. While open dialogue is crucial, Stoicism advises carefully choosing when to share your philosophical views to avoid unnecessary conflict. Consider this saying from the Stoic tradition. Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be, be one. It suggests that instead of debating your beliefs constantly, it's often more meaningful to embody them through your actions. Think of it like this. Imagine you follow Stoic principles and someone asks about your philosophical views. Instead of engaging in lengthy arguments, you might choose to live according to your beliefs, allowing your actions to speak louder than words. By holding your philosophical beliefs close, you not only avoid unnecessary conflicts, but also invite others to observe the wisdom in your way of living. It's a quiet yet powerful way to share your philosophy without getting caught up in debates. Lesson 11. Keep your financial status discreet. Continuing the Stoic wisdom, keeping your financial status discreet is emphasized. Stoicism advises against flaunting wealth or openly discussing financial matters to steer clear of envy and maintain humility. In the spirit of Stoic principles, consider the saying, it is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste much of it. This highlights the Stoic focus on the value of time and the importance of using it wisely rather than getting caught up in the pursuit of wealth. Now, picture someone who follows Stoic teachings. Instead of showcasing their possessions or openly discussing financial successes, they choose to lead a modest life. By keeping financial matters private, they not only avoid triggering envy in others, but also embody the Stoic virtue of humility. By embracing this Stoic lesson, you cultivate a sense of contentment, focusing on what truly matters in life rather than external markers of success. Keeping your financial status discreet becomes a path to inner peace and genuine wealth that extends beyond material possessions. 
It's a simple yet profound way to navigate the complexities of wealth and humility in the Stoic tradition. Lesson 12. Handle insults with composure. Delving into the Stoic lesson on managing insults reveals the importance of maintaining composure in the face of verbal attacks. Stoics advise against impulsive reactions, as this restraint serves as a testament to inner strength. Consider this Stoic insight. True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. This perspective emphasizes the Stoic focus on finding contentment in the present moment and not letting needless reactions disrupt that tranquility. Imagine someone embodying Stoic principles when confronted with insults. Rather than reacting impulsively with anger, they choose composure, allowing the insight from the Stoic quote to guide them. This response not only diffuses tension, but also exemplifies the Stoic philosophy's emphasis on present contentment and resilience. By handling insults with composure, you not only shield yourself from unnecessary conflict, but also demonstrate a serene strength that stems from living in the present. It's a straightforward yet powerful way to navigate social interactions with grace and steadfastness in line with Stoic teachings. Lesson 13. Keep your family matters private. Continuing the Stoic wisdom, the lesson is to keep your family matters private. Stoicism advises safeguarding the privacy of our family affairs to maintain harmony within the household. Reflecting on Stoic principles, consider this saying. The best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injustice. This notion underscores the Stoic emphasis on responding to challenges with virtue rather than escalating conflicts. Now, envision someone embracing Stoic teachings within their family. Instead of publicly discussing or airing family matters, they choose discretion. By keeping these matters private, they not only uphold family harmony, but also embody the stoic virtue of responding to challenges with wisdom and integrity. By respecting the privacy of family matters, you contribute to a resilient and harmonious family environment. It's a straightforward yet profound way to navigate the complexities of family life in alignment with stoic values. Lesson 14. Handle your health privately. Another valuable Stoic lesson unfolds, handle your health privately. While self-care is crucial, Stoicism suggests not making health concerns public unless necessary to avoid unnecessary sympathy or attention. Reflecting on Stoic principles, consider this saying, he who fears death will never do anything worth of a man who is alive. This idea underscores the Stoic emphasis on facing life's challenges including health concerns with courage and resilience. Now, picture someone following Stoic teachings in managing their health. Instead of openly discussing every ailment, they prioritize privacy. This not only avoids unnecessary attention, but also embodies the Stoic virtue of facing challenges with quiet strength. By handling health matters privately, you not only maintain your dignity, but also cultivate resilience in the face of physical challenges. It's a simple yet powerful way to navigate health concerns in alignment with Stoic values. Lesson 15. Keep your goals to yourself. And our last lesson, keep your goals to yourself. While sharing aspirations can be motivating, Stoicism advises keeping some goals private to avoid external pressures or distractions. Consider this Stoic saying, the best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injustice. This underscores the Stoic emphasis on personal growth and virtue as a response to challenges rather than seeking validation or approval from others. Now, envision someone incorporating Stoic wisdom into their goal setting. Instead of broadcasting every ambition, they choose to keep some goals private. 
This not only shields their aspirations from external influences, but also aligns with the stoic virtue of focusing on internal development. By keeping certain goals to yourself, you cultivate a sense of independence and resilience. It's a straightforward yet powerful way to pursue personal growth without being swayed by external opinions in harmony with the Stoic teachings. As we conclude this exploration of Stoic wisdom, I encourage you to revisit these lessons and reflect on how they resonate with your own life. The ancient Stoics left us with timeless principles that continue to offer guidance in navigating the complexities of our modern world. Take a moment to ponder the significance of guarding your inner dialogue, handling challenges with composure, and embracing the power of discretion in various aspects of your life. If these stoic lessons have resonated with you, consider sharing your thoughts and experiences with others. Engage in conversations, whether online or with those around you, and discover how these principles manifest in different lives. Like and share these insights, spreading the wisdom of Stoicism to contribute to a collective journey toward inner strength, resilience, and a more fulfilling existence. May the lessons of Stoicism serve as a guiding light on your path to personal growth and well-being. Share the wisdom, embrace the teachings, and continue your journey towards a more Stoic way of living.